Regions that suffer violence and conflict are often hard to access on the ground. My name is Anik Mosu, investigative researcher at Bellingcat. At Bellingcat, we've been using satellite imagery for many of our investigations. And these methods have again been proven useful in the monitoring of the conflict in Gaza and the West Bank. Using satellite imagery, we were able to investigate the scale of destruction of civilian infrastructure in Gaza, the disappearance of trees indicating fuel shortages in the region, or the movement of internally displaced people sheltering around Rafa. Our recent investigation into the expansion of Israeli settlements in the West Bank offers a great example to explain the use of satellite imagery in open source investigation. Although analyzing satellite imagery requires practice, everyone is able to do it. In this video, we will show you how useful the research can be and introduce you to free tools and resources that you can use to monitor events from above. In this video, we will introduce you to Google Earth Pro, Sentinel Hub EO Browser, and the Google Earth Engine. All of these are free to access and very accessible. So let's get started. Let's start with Google Earth Pro. This free tool lets you travel virtually anywhere in the world. You've probably seen it before. At Bellingcat, we mostly use it for measuring, analyzing, and displaying geographic data. One of its best features is historical satellite imagery. It allows you to scroll through images from different times. This way, you can see changes in land use and the appearance of new buildings or infrastructure, for example. We'll include a link to where you can download Google Earth in the description below. After downloading the program, you want to take a closer look at the top of your screen. There you should see an image of a small clock. Clicking it will show a slider that you can use to slide through the years. In this particular area, we can see clear imagery from as early as 2004. If the clock isn't visible, go to the View tab at the top of your screen and check that the option for Historical Imagery is selected. Looking through the timeline, we can see changes on the ground and spot construction of new structures. The range of historical satellite imagery depends on the location. The most recent image in this area originates from 2022. Sometimes you might need more recent images. That's why Google Earth isn't always sufficient. But luckily, there are more options. The time-lapse tool that Google offers can also help detect changes on the ground and it allows us to observe trends over long periods of time. The website gives you the option to visit a location and see a time-lapse from the area from 1984 to 2024. The time-lapse gives a good overview of an area and the changes that took place over the year. You can often make out structures or roads appearing when looking at areas of suspected settlements and expansions. The downside to using this tool is that the resolution is low and the time-lapse cannot be downloaded as a GIF or MP4. Another good alternative to Google Earth Pro is Sentinel Hub EO Browser. This is a website that gives direct access to a large collection of satellite images collected by the European Space Agency's Copernicus program. Sentinel Hub EO Browser is very easy to use. Sentinel Hub offers different visualization themes to get the best view on your images. For this example, we will begin by selecting the default theme and the Sentinel-2 data source. Once you've selected the theme, data source, and inputted your location, you can see a calendar on the left side. If you click on it, you can see which dates Sentinel has a capture available. All highlighted dates are the dates that a picture of this area was taken. The quality of the satellite images is often lower than Google Earth Pro, but they are captured with greater regularity. For the West Bank region, Sentinel Hub provides a snapshot every five days. This has proved very helpful for our research in the changes after the October 7th attacks. Another useful feature of Sentinel Hub is the possibility to create a time-lapse of a certain area you're interested in, like this one. To create a time-lapse, you have to click this button and then provide the tool with the dates that you're interested in. Select the images you want to include and change the settings if you like. And there you go. The time-lapse can be downloaded and is super useful for analysis of the footage. It helps you to discover possible changes that you might not spot in static imagery. Examining satellite data requires some practice. It's important to be careful not to misinterpret objects in the images 
and inspect footage in detail. In the case of the Israeli settlements, we didn't only look for the construction of buildings, but also looked at other signs that suggest activity in the area, such as the clearing of land or the construction of roads, for example. Something that can be important to check is if the construction of a building is still in process. If this is the case, it can help to keep a close eye on shadows. If a tall building or tall object is built, it will cause a shadow to appear on a photo. On our website, you find ways in which you can use these shadows to help measure development of a construction process or at what time a photo was taken. Changes in landscape or vegetation can also be insightful. It can assist you to see the changes in an urban area that might indicate an expansion of a settlement. This time-lapse of the Kochav Hashahar settlement is a good example where more subtle changes can only be seen when comparing historic satellite images with new captures. The expansion of the settlement is indicated by new roads created in the last four years. Thank you for taking the time to learn about satellite imagery analysis with me. I hope this introduction gives you some insight into the methods we use at Bellingcat and might even get you started on your own investigations. If you have any questions or are looking for other helpful guides, take a look at the links in the description below this video. Thank you.